number of atoms in a centered cubic unit cell. Now we know that what is centered cubic unit cell? That is all the constituent particles are present at the center as well as at the corner also. So the first part of the centered unit cell is body centered unit cell which we uh, also called BBC, sorry BCC, body centered unit cell. Now what happened in body centered unit cell? That uh, constituent particles are present at the center of the body and at the corner of the body also. Okay. Now, uh, something like that is structure we are discussing when we are, uh, when we are discuss about the BCC. Okay, you can make by yourself body centered unit cell. How? Get the eight ball of same color and one ball of different color. Now, as you can see in this figure, and attach all the balls in that manner that the different color red ball is at the center, is at the center and forms a cube. And use the knife and cut the ball. Then you will get that all the balls. At, at the corner are cut in same as like in, as like cutting primitive unit cell but here the center ball is as it is same okay now come to the part that to find the number of atom in a unit cell that how many atoms are present in the unit cell of b c c so in primitive simple primitive unit cell how many electro uh, how many atoms are present there is one atom okay now how many atom are at the center in are at the center in BB in BCC there is one okay one atom at the center in BCC so total atom in BCC is one plus one is equal to two okay now there is two atoms present in body centered unit cell okay now the next of centered unit cell is face centered unit cell now what is a face center face centered unit cell now what is face centered unit cell that uh, the constituent particles are present at the face and at corner also like something you get this is you get the structure something like that now this structure you can you can also make by yourself get the four balls of same color and eight balls of different color and uh, join in that manner that uh, the four different color balls are comes at the uh, are same at the face at the face okay now take the knife and uh, cut them then you will get something like that structure okay here in this stru structure you see that the corner balls are cut as similar as in simple primitive unit cell but the center ball are cut halfly okay so now come to the part number of atom at the centered unit cell how many number of uh, uh, how many number of atom we calculate in simple primitive, primitive unit cell there is one atom okay now how many number of atoms at the face in the face centered unit cell there is six and they are cutted in that manner in half manner so one by because in at one face, each face there is half atom is present. Okay, so the total three atom. Total three atom at the face of the centered cubic unit cell. So total number of atom in face centered cubic unit cell is one plus three is equal to four atom. Okay, there are four atom there are four atoms present in the face centered cubic unit cell. Okay, now here I, I write it down something that uh, how many that, uh, atom are present. Now at the face there are six atoms in one unit cell at face there is half atom okay so from that we get this from here we get this okay so i think all of you cleared the face centered cubic unit cell good now the next is end centered unit cell now here the constituent particles are present at the end of the faces or you can say at the opposite side of the faces and corner also here 
all the particles are present at the corner as well as at the face at the opposite face to each other so how many electrons we are, uh, how many number of atoms we calculate in f uh, in simple primitive unit cell there is one atom okay now here you can see that half atom is on that face and half atom is on that face so total number of atom uh, at the face in the end centered unit cell is 2 into 1 by 2 which is equal to 1 atom which is equal to 1 atom so the total atom so the total number of atom atom is 1 atom of simple primitive unit cell plus 1 atom at the opposite face so it is equal to 2 now there are 2 atoms present at the end centered cubic unit cell ok and one more important thing here F face centered cubic unit cell face centered cubic unit cell we call FCC or we can say cubic center packing or we can say hexagonal center packing sorry cubic close packing hexagonal close packing and face centered unit cell ok and now this is really very important because uh, the gross question comes from that ok along with it we are come at the packaging efficiency of the constituent particle in a unit cell now we all know that in solid in solid that uh, the particles are closely packed to each other and uh, all the particles are try to occupy a maximum space and uh, try to left a uh, try to left a minimum vacant space same same case is happening in crystal lattice also those crystal crystal lattice also and same is happening in a unit cell also okay unit cell also so that the question is how much minimum vacant space is left by the constituent particle so to calculate the minimum vacant space we using here term packaging efficiency packaging efficiency now what is packaging efficiency packaging efficiency by the help of packaging efficiency we calculate that how much space occupied by a constituent particles in a unit cell the unit cell we get the value of the we get the value and the value which we get we subtract from the 100 and rest of the value show the minimum show the vacant space in a unit cell okay so what is the packaging efficiency here now the percentage of total space occupied by the particles packaging efficiency is the efficiency is the efficiency of percentage of the total space occupied by and by the particles so to get to find out the packaging efficiency we use a use your formula formula is volume of number of spheres why we are using here spheres because the particles are in the form of a sphere and total volume of q or unit cell why because our unit cell is in the form of q and multiply by 100 that's the formula with the help of which we calculate the packaging efficiency and it, this formula is really very important okay now i have a question what is the volume of a sphere volume of a sphere 4 upon 3 pi r q into n n is number of sphere okay and volume of q which is a q and a is what side of the q okay so now the packaging efficiency we calculate in face uh, in centered unit cell okay centered unit cell what is centered unit cell the constituent particles are present at the center at the center in the unit cell okay and we know that that we know that the centered unit cell is uh, subdivided into three categories face centered unit cell uh, face centered unit cell body centered unit cell and end centered unit cell okay in body cent in uh, center unit cell we calculate the packaging efficiency and we also calculate the packaging efficiency in simple primitive unit cell okay so now first we start with the packaging efficiency of 
HCP. HCP is what? Hexagonal close packing. CCP. CCP is what? Cubic close packing. And FCC. FCC is what? Face center cube. All are same. There is no different. Okay. But the structure is different. So now you you can see the structure. Some, the structure is something like that. Like that. Now this is C C P. This is F C C. And now this is H C P. Okay. Okay. Now let us start to find out the packaging efficiency of the constituent particles. First, total number of atom in FCC how much we have calculated previously there are four atoms okay good now here these four atoms they will look like something okay now the arrangement of particles between um, in the face center unit cell is something looking like that okay now here all particles are looking as a sphere so the radius of each sphere is radius of each sphere is r so now r is the radius of that sphere and now the 2r is the diameter of that one sphere and r is the radius of that one sphere okay um jo fcc or ccp or hcp hai इनकी जो दो साइड होती है साइड ए और साइड बी वो बराबर होती है ठीक है तो यहाँ पर जो है हमारा एक ट्राइंगल बनेगा जो कि होगा आइसोसेलिस ट्राइंगल ठीक है ये वाली साइड भी ए होगी और ये वाली साइड भी ए होगी ठीक है अब इसको नाम दे देते हैं ए बी एंड सी नाउ ए सी को हमने मान लिया कोई साइड है हमारी मान लिया अच्छा डी ठीक ये भाई हमारी डी है तो इसको डी नहीं बी कर देते हैं नहीं ठीक है परपेंडिकुलर बी सी का स्क्वायर प्लस ए बी का स्क्वायर मैं बेस का स्क्वायर ठीक है यहाँ से ए सी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू बी स्क्वायर और ए बी स्क्वायर कितना होता है कितनी है वैल्यू हमारी ए ए स्क्वायर प्लस ए स्क्वायर और हमारा ए सी कितना है फोर आर यानी कि फोर आर वेट आई डू समथिंग स्टेट फोर आर होल स्क्वायर ओके नाउ सिक्सटीन आर इज इक्वल टू टू ए स्क्वायर नाउ सिक्सटीन आर स्क्वायर ओके नाउ यहाँ से हम वैल्यू निकालेंगे दोनों की आर की भी और ए की भी ठीक है आर तो जब यहाँ से हम कैलकुलेट करेंगे तो हमारी जो ए की वैल्यू आएगी वो आएगी टू रूट टू आर ये तो ए की वैल्यू आएगी ठीक और आर की जो वैल्यू आएगी हमारी वो आएगी ए अपॉन टू रो टू ठीक ना दीज टू वैल्यूज आर रियली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके ना अब आते हैं ट्रेंगल में पैथोग लगाकर हमने ए और आर दोनों की वैल्यू निकाल ली अब निकालते हैं वॉल्यूम ऑफ क्यू वॉल्यूम ऑफ क्यू वॉल्यूम ऑफ क्यूब होता है ए क्यूब सॉरी ए क्यूब और ए क्यूब की वैल्यू कितनी है यहाँ पर ए कितनी है ए है हमारा टू रूट टू आर ठीक अब इसकी वैल्यूज में पुट करेंगे तो टू रूट टू आर क्यूब ओके अब इसको खोल दो ठीक है टू का जो क्यूब रूट होता है वो एट होता है अभी टू रूट टू को ऐसे रखते हैं आर का आर क्यूब ठीक है अब टू रूट टू का जो टू रूट 
सॉरी रूट टू क्यूब को जब हम खोलें तो इसको मल्टीप्लाई कर लेते हैं तीन पार्ट में ब्रेक कर लिया क्यूब रूट का मतलब थ्री टाइम मल्टीप्लाई होगा सेम फैक्टर इन दोनों का मल्टीप्लीकेशन टू आएगा रूट टू यानी कि जो वैल्यू आएगी रूट टू क्यूब की वो टू रूट टू आएगी तो सिक्सटीन रूट टू आर क्यूब दिस इज द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द क्यूब ओके नाउ लेट फाइंड द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द स्पेयर वॉल्यूम ऑफ द स्पेयर नाउ व्हाट्स द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द स्पेयर विच फोर अपॉइंट थ्री टोटल वॉल्यूम ऑफ क्यू नाउ हाउ मेनी स्पेयर इन हाउ मेनी स्पेयर इन देर आर फोर स्पेयर हाउ मेनी स्पेयर इन एफ सी सी देर आर फोर आइटम्स इन एफ सी सी ओके सो देर फोर इन टू नाउ वॉल्यूम ऑफ स्पेयर फोर पॉइंट थ्री पाई आर क्यू अपॉन वॉल्यूम ऑफ क्यू ए क्यू तो वट्स द वैल्यू ऑफ ए क्यू वॉल्यूम ऑफ क्यू वी गेट सिक्सटीन रूट टू आर क्यू Sixteen root two r cube. Now solve this. R is r cube here. Sixteen is can also cancel out. Now here we get into hundred is also here. So here we get pi upon three root two into hundred. And you all know the value of pi, which is three point one four. And you all know the value of root two, which is one point four one four. Into 100. We are using here only two digit after pi, two, two, two digit after decimal. Now 100 multiplied by now it becomes 314, and now it becomes four. This when you solve solve this, then you will get 74%. And this is 74 percent is the fixed packaging efficiency in FCC, HCP, and CCP. It doesn't change. This is the closed packaging. This is the packaging efficiency of the constituent particles. Means that 47 percent in any in any crystal, lattice or unit cell, the constituent particles occupy 47 percent space, and rest of them is a vacant space which we call void. Okay. So I hope you got understand the packaging efficiency in FCC. Now the packaging efficiency in body centered cubic unit cell. Here, what is body centered cubic unit cell? That the constituent particles are present at the center of the body and at the, as well as at the corner of the body also. Okay. In F in BCC body centered in BCC body centered is BCC. Now, how many number of electron we calculated in BCC unit cell? There is two atom. Sorry, we are calculating two atoms. Okay. Now, here in BCC, this this one sphere is at the center of the body, and the rest of the two sphere is at the corner. So here we get the triangle. We want a triangle. So we want a triangle. Sorry, we want a triangle. In of this one. Now here, like that. If you want a triangle of A, B, F. Okay. Now see this. Let's take another one. Now come part. Come this part. Here, we want a triangle of that one. Here, the center. Sphere and here the sphere at the corner. Let me do the naming of the of this triangle. Triangle A and triangle here B, C and D. Wait. हमें इस वाले triangle की क्या जरूरत पड़ी? उसकी भी हम बात करेंगे. ठीक है? अभी हम इसकी भी बात करेंगे. ठीक? 
सबसे पहले हम ए ट्रैंगल ए बी सी का इस्तेमाल करके ए सी लाइन को निकालेंगे ए सी को निकालेंगे फिर उसके बाद हम ए डी ट्रैंगल ए डी सी ट्रैंगल लेंगे और उसमें हम ए डी को फाइंड आउट करेंगे ठीक है तो हम जानते हैं जो बॉडी सेंटर जो हमारा बॉडी सेंटर क्यूबिक बॉडी सेंटर क्यूबिक यूनिट सेल है इसमें दो साइडें बराबर होती हैं क्यूब में दो सारी साइडें बराबर होती हैं तो यहाँ पर ए बी मान लीजिए ये हमारा ए है और ये हमारा ए हो गया दोनों साइडें बराबर होंगी ट्रैंगल ए बी सी में सो ट्रैंगल ए बी सी में जब हम पाइथागोरस फॉर्म बनाएंगे तो ए सी स्क्वायर बराबर बी सी स्क्वायर प्लस ए बी स्क्वायर यहाँ से हमारा ए सी निकलेगा जो कि आएगा टू ए सी स्क्वायर बिकॉज बोथ द लाइन सा इक्वल टू इच अदर ओके ग्रेट अब हम ट्रैंगल ए डी सी लेते हैं सो जो स्ट्रक्चर बनेगा ना ट्रैंगल ए डी सी का वो कुछ इस तरह से बनेगा ना यार द ग्रीन वन स्पेयर रिप्रेजेंट दैट एट द सेंटर एट द बॉडी सेंटर हेयर रेडियस इज आर टू आर एंड आर ओके एंड ट्रैंगल इज समथिंग लाइक दैट ओके ए डी एंड सी ए डी एंड सी दैट वन ट्रैंगल वी आर यूजिंग ओके ए डी सी ए डी ए सी एंड डी सी एंड हम यहाँ पर कौन सी लाइन निकाल चुके हैं ए सी हम निकाल चुके हैं ए डी हमें पता है ए डी कितनी है ए क्यू क्योंकि क्यूब की सारी साइडें बराबर होती हैं और ए सी कितनी है टू ए स्क्वायर हमें निकालने क्या है ए डी तो यहाँ पर ए डी पहले किस पहले देखो ए डी किसके बराबर है यहाँ पर जो ए डी है वो फोर आर के इक्वल है ठीक है ना यूज द पैथोल थ्रम इन ट्रैंगल ए डी सी हाइपोटेनस कौन सी है हाइपोटेनस हमारी ए डी है ए डी स्क्वायर इक्वल टू डी सी स्क्वायर प्लस ए सी स्क्वायर नाउ पुट द वैल्यू ए स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए स्क्वायर स्क्वायर ओके वेट जस्ट मिनट ए सी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू टू ए सी यार ए सी स्क्वायर सॉरी ए सी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू टू ए सी टू ए स्क्वायर सो यार वी राइट रिटर्न एज एज इट एज इट इज सिंपल ए सी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू टू ए स्क्वायर ओके राइट ए डी ए डी इज इक्वल टू फोर आर फोर आर चलो सिक्सटीन आर स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू वन आर वन ए स्क्वायर एंड टू ए स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू थ्री ए स्क्वायर नाउ फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ ए स्क्वायर एंड फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ ए एंड आर ऑल्सो फ्रॉम हेयर सो ए स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन आर स्क्वायर अपॉन थ्री देन वील गेट फोर अपॉन रूट थ्री आर हेयर ए इज इक्वल टू फोर अपॉन थ्री फोर अपॉन रूट थ्री आर ओके सो आर इज इक्वल टू ए रूट थ्री अपॉन फोर और वी गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ ए एंड आर ऑल्सो फॉर हेयर ओके दैट्स ग्रेट नाउ अप्लाई दी फॉर्मूला ऑफ पैकेजिंग एफिशियंसी फर्स्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट दिन वॉल्यूम वॉल्यूम ऑफ स्पेयर फोर अपॉन थ्री पाई आर क्यूब वॉल्यूम ऑफ क्यूब ए क्यूब ग्रेट नाउ पैकेजिंग एफिशियंसी हाउ मेनी नंबर ऑफ स्पेयर इन एफ सी सी सॉरी इन बॉडी सेंटर दिस टू नंबर टू एटम इन बी सी सी टू इन टू फोर पॉइंट थ्री पाई आर क्यू ओके एंड वॉल्यूम ऑफ क्यूब इज ए क्यूब नाउ पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ पुट द वैल्यू इज ए क्यूब टू 
upon value of a cube a 4 upon root 3 r 4 4 upon root 3 r whole cube okay now let's get solve it yeah 8 upon 3 r cube upon now the cube of 4 is 64 and uh, the cube of uh, root 3 it become 9 root 3 r cube now r cube r cube cancel here 8 can see 64 by 8 time and here 3 cancel 9 by 3 time uh, here pi is left now one more important thing is into 100 also is here okay now value of pi is 3.14 into 100 upon 8 now the upon value goes to multiply here 3 root 3 goes to multiply uh, wait here there is some mistake uh, yeah, yeah yeah here I got the mistake is here I do some I do mistake and let me mistake here 9 यहाँ पर तीन आएगा। देखो क्योंकि जब हम root तीन, root तीन और root तीन इस तरह से मिलाते हैं तो इसी वैल्यू में root तीन root तीन मिलती है। तो ये तीन से तीन ग्रुप में कटेगा। तो यहाँ पर हमारा root तीन हो जाएगा। ठीक है? ये हमारे को मिलेगा। Now जब हम इसको solve करेंगे ऊपर वाले format को, तो जो root तीन की वैल्यू थी वो 1.732 now 3.14 into 100 upon 8. When we solve this, then we get the 68%. Mean this is a fixed value in body center cubic unit cell. Means all the particles occupy only 68% space in body center cubic unit cell, and rest of the space is vacant. Okay, and this is a fix; it cannot be changed. Now let's discuss the last one is sim last one packaging efficiency in simple cubic unit cell. Here, okay. Simple cubic unit cell that all the constituent particles are present at the corner only. Now you can see here. Now in this structure, that the, the all the four particles, all the four atoms are at the corner only. So the structure is something like that. Okay. Wait. The structure is something like that. Here, radius r of all sphere is same. Here. Now, suppose this is a. It's very simple to find out the packaging efficiency of SCC. Okay. And this is A. The, all the side of the cube is equal to each other. Now, this is A. Okay. So, here A is equal to what? 2R. First four. Okay. And second for second, how many number of atoms are present in simple cubic unit cell? Number of atom in simple cubic unit cell or primitive cubic unit cell is one atom okay we are already calculated now volume of cube find volume of cube what is a cube okay and what's the value of a here 2R cube it become 8R cube now volume of spare now what is the volume of spare 4 upon 3 pi R cube now let's find the packaging efficiency packaging efficiency number of volume of a spare upon volume of total volume of a cube how many number uh, how many spares in 
cube in, in simple primitive units and there is 1 okay now volume of sphere 4 upon 3 pi r cube and total volume of a cube is 8 r cube and into 100 r cube r cube cancel out here 8 is cancelled out by 4 2 times now here we get pi into 100 upon 6 or 314 upon 6 when you put the value of pi which is 3.14 and multiply by 100 then you will get 314 okay when you solve the value when you solve this then you will get 52.4 percent and this is the fixed value of packaging efficiency in simple primitive uh, in simple cubic unit cell okay now if we what's the difference here remember face centered cubic unit cell or cubic close packing or hexagonal close packing packaging efficiency packaging efficiency is 74 percent now packaging efficiency in body centered cubic unit cell packaging efficiency is 68 percent and packaging efficiency in simple cubic unit cell is 54 point sorry 52.4 percent Fifty two point four percent. Now you can see that uh, in face centered cubic unit cell, the constituent particles occupy more space as compared to the body centered cubic unit cell and simple cubic unit cell. Okay, in simple cubic unit cell, the particles occupy less occupy uh, less space. You may can say uh, uh, you can you can say that uh, in simple cubic unit cell, fifty percent space occupied by a nearly 50% space occupied by a constituent particles and 50% space is vacant in simple cubic unit cell.